What up guys, Tough Thumbs here. Sorry, I was rocking out to some hardcore music. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, so I got a couple pimp jobs for you to show and a uh, couple more custom goodies to share. Um, so, first up, um, don't know, I forget what the hell these things are called. I'll tell you the truth, I'm sorry guys. But uh, I thought they were pretty sweet so I'd share them with you. I just absolutely love these, are cool as hell. Like super thick. And there's like a little um, little eagle right there, the maker's mark. Can't remember what it is though. Yeah, this will this will help defend your house against any pesky elves. Seriously, those things are those things are brutal. And then you got a bigger version. This kind of reminds me of uh, that Cutlery Lover Gavco knife. Because uh, it got that little, or not little, but pretty pretty wicked uh, skull crusher there. Reindeer Slayer. I think it's pretty awesome. Anyway. Oh wait, I have more, oh yeah, and also wanted to share, um, actually Anonymous got me a Christmas present uh, when he went to the last knife show. Um, he met a maker who is named Sean Garrett. I'll have more information in the future about him. Um, apparently he's a real good guy, and um, I'm just going to show you some of his designs. Uh, this guy is actually Anonymous's. Uh, this kind of reminds me of something Gavco do would do, actually. It's kind of got a Gavco-ish... Like it's very comfortable. It's got that nice thumb ramp. It's pretty cool. It's like some kind of coating on there. It's really sharp though. Cool blade shape. And then uh, Anonymous got me this guy for uh, just for the hell of it. I think it's pretty cool of him. It's got like a very, very nasty looking Warncliffe. Kind of reminds me of like a Spyderco PPT or the Yojimbo. It's got a nice little pattern there. It's like a rocky chipped pattern. Cool little neck knife. Thought I'd share that with you guys. But now I'm going to get into the pimp work. With this awesome music in the background. So, first up today, got another one from my buddy Jack uh, over at. Uh, uh, classic custom knives, I believe that's what it's called. So we got another bone collector. Let's see real quick. Um, yeah, so these are on his. These are going to be in his store on his website or whatever. If you guys are interested in these, um, either contact me or in a few weeks he'll probably have them all back and up uh, for sale or whatever. But now we got the second bone collector. Third one's going to be tomorrow. And I gotta do something absolutely nuts on this one because these are pretty much pretty tame, and so is this one. I was going for like just perfection uh, and the looks of them and everything, and functionality perfect, nothing really, just very factory look, you know, look looking. Uh, but that one I'm gonna go nuts on. But this one brought back an old pattern that I haven't used in a long time, uh, the rock pattern. I usually do it on the jade dyed shit, and uh, you never really see it that well. Kind of like a erratic Anzo PPT thing going on, but I really like it. Probably gonna be using it more often now. And uh, you know, stainless steel liners, um, usually coated in black, and polished them up. Put a pretty weird, cool looking backspacer on there. It's like cut down the middle with different size, you know, different spaced apart. Like these are smaller spaced apart than big ones on the ends. Uh, got a nice grip. This actually grabs the fat of your thumb. You know, I'm not, I don't have fat thumbs, but it still grabs. It's a little bit of traction. But I really like the green and uh, the OD green and orange color combo. It's very um, 
you know, hunting style to it, which is cool for a bone collector. I love this knife. This is the one I have. Love this knife, guys. Seriously, can't recommend it more. It's just so awesome. I mean, if you're getting a Griptilian, spend the extra 25, 30 bucks to get this guy, because uh, you get G10 on it and like a cool backspacer. I mean, this one's a little bit more because it's got this different color G10, but the black one that I have is uh. They're sweet, that's all I gotta say. So that's the boner collector. Oh, I'm sorry, bone collector. I'm hearing music like this, I swear I just think of like crazy rampage scenes in horror movies. I always go good with like music like this. I think Muddy Desire will know what I mean. Pivots a little tight in this guy. Alright, now, got another one for uh, someone who's no stranger to tough knives, pimpage. Mr. Infidel X Strong, George. Good guy. Uh, Got a great channel. Needs to make more videos. Um, but yeah, he sent me this guy and um, had a crazy idea. Didn't work out too well because the color he chose wouldn't show up as much as he would want it to. So we took the next step, made it a little bit, you know, made it really cool. Um, real quick beforehand, um, I used carbon fiber from. I've never used carbon fiber from anywhere except for black site carbon fiber ever. And I actually got some from Alpha Knife Supply, and I think they just got a new dealer. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. It looks the same actually, but it looks very different when the sheet looks very different from what I'm used to. But um, I'm probably gonna go back to Black Site. I mean, Alpha Knife Supply is the best customer service, the best G10, the best everything. But you know, I'm just used to you know the Black Site carbon fiber. Um, I just feel like it's better quality. I mean, this stuff is no worse at all. I just, um, yeah, I prefer the other one. But anyway, so, show you the Zero Tons 300. Fantastic knife, guys. I gotta throw in a review of this guy real quick. A titanium frame lock, Ken Onion Strider, DT design, just absolutely rock solid. If you had a choice between, if I had a choice between an SNG or an SMS and this guy, I would pick this guy any day. It's 10,000 times better. Uh, wish I still had mine. I sold it a while back. I actually got my business started with just the ZT itself. I sold it off and uh, bought a bunch of tools with it. But for this guy, as you probably guessed, there's a lot more to it than this. We got the carbon fiber with the Geiger pattern. Looking nuts. It's cool, you see like, like twirly carbon fiber. You got red liners. Um, so you originally wanted to do that melting down the scale with the red, but this red, you know, it's hard to see. It pretty much vanishes against here if I was to do that. And we got a sweet ass backspacer. With the sunken in jimping. That you know, this is so wide, you know, it'll grab your finger right away. And you can feel that it's nice and rough. And you can see the black, the red liner material. This looks like kind of like a race car or something. I don't know. You got some uh, licorice backspacer here. It's a very Christmassy knife, I tell you. Just makes you just go cut down Christmas tree with it. Something like that. If you guys got some crazy ideas for backspacers, uh, let me know. So I'm open to suggestions. I got this whole new world of backspacers that have opened up for me. Uh, once I figured out how to do it better and re refined it a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been having fun with it. A lot of fun with it. 
this one to be like kind of round, rounded, like you see, it's like an hourglass shape almost. But, um, there's a way. I actually, got one that I'm gonna make that looks like it's spiraling around inside there, and it's like if you took it out, it'd be like a screw. But it's actually kind of like an illusion with the angle and the rounding. But uh, you got their standard, standard shit down here. I didn't want to mess with that at all, so I just went right with it. See, it's nice and centered. Even though it doesn't look like it, it's just because this side's thicker. Nice and smooth, rock solid, nice and sharp. And, oh no, just ruined Christmas for everyone. Cutting the heads off of penguins. Oh, how sad is that? Oh no. I have problems, I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think I had a little bit too much eggnog before this video, maybe. But whatever. Alright, guys, uh, I'll probably have another video tomorrow, but if I don't, you know, have a great Christmas. I know I gotta celebrate something tomorrow and, you know, can't work on Christmas. I just think my girlfriend would be pretty pissed at me, even though I would prefer working every day. I just can't sometimes, so. I wanted to do a green and red knife, but I figured, you know, after Christmas, nobody's going to want that, so I don't want to screw anybody over by doing that. Oh, this is like my favorite Christmas song. Thank you.